The agency that runs the school is strongly criticised and condemned the hit and has actually accused Israel of violating international law. This is Chris Gunnis, who we heard from. He is a spokesman for the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East. And he spoke to our diplomatic editor, James Bates. Have a look. Shock, indignation, words simply can't express how appalling we all felt. That's why we've condemned this in the strongest possible terms as a serious violation of international law. We've moved away from the realm of humanitarian action alone. We're now in the realm of accountability. Are you sure which side was responsible? We have done crater analysis. We got a team to the site within hours. We've looked at the shrapnel. We've looked at the damage. We are, according to our assessment, saying that this is Israeli artillery and we have no doubt about that. Is it possible this could have been an accident? They didn't know where the school was? Well, as far as intentionality is concerned, of course, you'd need to ask the Israeli army. We have seen a school hit directly. Children sleeping next to their parents on the floor of a UN-designated safe area have been killed. It is an affront to the humanity of all of us. The world should hang its head in shame. Did you tell them about the location of this school and how many people were inside? 17 times we called to give them the precise coordinates of this school and to inform them of the fact that 3,300 people had taken refuge there. So that is certainly not an excuse that can be given. This is the second time this has happened with a large loss of life. How should the international community respond? Well, we've made it quite clear that it's time for accountability. We've made it quite clear that those with the power to act should take deliberate political action. It's up to them, but it's got to stop. I mean, we have reached breaking point. We've moved away from the realm of humanitarian action alone. Our staff are being killed. Our shelters are completely overrun. The Israelis are telling more people to leave, so there will soon be tens of thousands of people stranded in the streets of Gaza. No food, no shelter, no mattresses, no blankets. We are overwhelmed by this. There has to be concerted political action. You are a senior UN official. You were, a, before that, a long time, you were, you were a journalist, a professional journalist. So you're used to seeing these sort of things. But how does it affect you when you see what has happened on the ground in Gaza today? It's beyond belief that in the 21st century, children and women men, civilian men, can be subjected to this kind of outrage. Palestinians have every single one of their rights denied them, including the right to life, and that includes children. It is an abomination, it's a barbarity, and it needs to end.